My God. It feels great to be outside of that damn prison for the first time in a long time. I agree. Now we're just waiting for Eli because he said he had some big surprise for us. I do believe he said it was some trip to Germany or something. Oh look, there he is. So, ah, uh, what's the surprise you were talking about Eli? Well, I was gonna reveal this with John also, but apparently he has one more class at the junk building so I guess I'll reveal it to him later, but uh, I planned us to go to Europe for spring break. And what exactly would we do there? Well I was thinking we could go visit and see some of the cool history of various countries like Germany and France. Eh, I'm not really interested in that. I had plans to go help my friends from business class start up a small business. Well, uh, Jordan, how about you? Hey, I think I'd rather stay and just fuck around on Twitter or something. Oh screw you guys. I just wasted money on those tickets. I better hope John agrees to this otherwise I'm ending the world. Meanwhile? Okay, so today you will be learning on final thing before spring break. Using cover to help with bullet suppression on a light machine gun, Lindsay, you'll being first since you had the highest score when it came to using that M249. Let's see how good you are with that. Later. Wow, I'm genuinely impressed with how you maintained control. Unlike last time where you nearly broke your goddamn wrist. You get extra marks for showing massive improvement. You may go to your dorm now. Well thanks Mr. Smith. Hope you have a good break too. Jeez. How long is it taking John? There's only three hours before the ship leaves. Sorry it took me a while Eli. Just had to finish some training at the JROTC building. Hey that's fine. Anyway. Want to hear about the surprise I have? Oh god. This better not be something stupid. Well, uh, it's not. You know how I said we're going to Europe? Yeah. When's the flight? Well, we're not taking a flight. Well then how are we getting there? We're taking a ship called the Queen Mary to England, then a ferry across the English Channel. Hey hey hey. That's such a funny joke. Seriously though. What's the surprise? You bean. That is the surprise. If you don't believe me, I'll show since our bus is arriving right now. Later. See, I fucking told you. It's about to leave in two hours, so let's get our tickets and get to our room. I can't believe I'm actually seeing the ship get brought back into service for the first time since the 60s. You know, I gotta hand it to them for really updating how the ship is. Seems like this will be an enjoyable ride to England. Yeah, I agree with that. Also, we're leaving in five minutes. Let's head up deck to wave bye to our friends. Meanwhile, man, I can't wait to show how this ship will work. I believe this could outcompete even some modern ships while also bringing some history with it. Captain, should I give the all clear for us to depart? Yes. Let them know we're ready to leave. All right. I'll let them know. Attention all passengers and crew. The captain has announced the all clear for departure. I repeat we are departing. All right. When the bus comes, I'll be able to show why this was a worthy investment to bring this ship out of retirement. Meanwhile... Ah, uh, thanks for the refill of coffee. You're welcome. Your food will be here in a minute. I gotta say. This trip's been great so far. Yeah, I agree. I didn't think it'd be possible to make this ship run again, let alone be able to have the things modern ships have while being able to have that 40s 70s charm to it. Ah, so I see you're here to look at why this ship will be worth the investment. Yeah. Remember now. We spent over 500 million dollars to bring this boat into service. Some of the features better be damn worth. Oh well one of the things we quickly looked into was safety improvements, and we went that monitor up. Yeah, what about it? Well, first we have our radar systems. Anything outside of 50 miles is highlighted in white, anything outside of 25 is in yellow and anything closer is in red. These colors are depending on risk of collision. Icebergs are always highlighted in red. Okay, next we have the lifeboat detector. This detects which lifeboats are able to be launched. Right now, they are not highlighted, but lifeboats that can be used are in green and ones that can't are in red. Is that the ship for the dog to sink? Yes, that's the ship for the dog to sink. Oh, no, it's a sink, it's a sink, it's a sink, it's a sink. Man, 
This trip has been super amazing, I agree. I can't wait when we get to Germany. Meanwhile... Uh, what the heck is happening? Well shit. It would appear that the aft engine has suffered a malfunction. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the trip. It will be part of the coil Maria Haslava dance as a Уреалы? Солнце ликию ве год соми го от луч к тадай. Ех. It hink was how up here at the tarped of her full stop stain sura ve get up direct hid. Yeah, oh, this is a tough scene. The aft engine is pretty cooked. We're gonna be at 3 fourths the power now until we can fix it. So I just got word that the ship is at 3 fourths power for the time being, and based off of the status of the aft starboard engines, it's gonna be about 3 to 4 hours before it's fully repaired. Well I guess that's some good news, but oh boy, the boss isn't gonna like this at all. Captain, why has the ship suddenly slowed down, and why are alarms going off? Well, um, I didn't expect the engines to malfunction like that. Those engines are supposed to be brand new. I don't really have an explanation for this. Well, we better get it fixed quickly or the is fine. Well, it's gonna take three to four hours to fix. What? What the fuck? Man, what the hell is happening that's causing these alarms to go off? Is the ship sinking or something? I don't know, but I've noticed that the ship seems to have stalled or something because we're not moving. Has hip has come at a full stop. Fear a tarpedane. Fearing tarpedane. Wait, what the hell? That's a different alarm? Why is that going off? Wait, what is that coming towards us? Oh shit. That's a fucking torpedo coming at us. No, god damn it, what the hell just happened? Did the engine explode? Aft engine room, what the hell just happened? Captain, I don't know. Lisa and I were fixing the engine when that explosion happened. It's certainly not in the engine room. Meanwhile... Oh well this sucks. The monitor fell and is broken, now we're basically disconnected from the rest of the world. Henry, have you sent out a distress call yet? Yes. But the nearest ship about four hours away. Well thankfully we have enough lifeboats for all passengers and crew, and with the upgraded watertight compartments, the Queen Mary can stay afloat for roughly 15 hours. I'm about that, Captain. Wait, about what? Well, me and a couple other mechanics found where we're taking on water, and based off the damage, we were torpedoed just underneath the bridge, and it's estimated the Queen Mary will sink in just over six hours. Oh and some of the lifeboat davits appear to be jammed in place. I've sent some people to fix the problem, but about one third of the lifeboats are useless and to add some salt, we are starting to list to starboard. Oh well isn't that just fan-fucking-tastic? We are a victim of a possible terrorist attack and also those safety upgrades were for nothing? I'm gonna lose my job aren't I? But that's besides the point. Tell the passengers to head to the boat deck while the lifeboats are prepared to be launched. Oh man. I hope that torpedo attack won't end the whole ship, there's no way this is Lusitania 2, Electric Boogaloo. Well, based off some of my research, this ship can stay afloat with six compartments flooded, that torpedo possibly opened up what, maybe four. And since it's been 30 minutes since the explosion, I think we'll be able to survive it. Attention all passengers and crew. The Queen Mary has suffered a torpedo attack. I repeat, the Queen Mary has suffered a torpedo attack. All passengers are to report to the boat deck. Make sure to get your life vests. Please stop shoving and stay calm. We're trying to get the lifeboats ready. This will only take a couple of minutes. Man, I'm so frustrated. All that money wasted. Well, I land must just off the port side bow. Maybe we can beach the ship to save it from sinking? Well, with only two-fourth of our engine power, and with a three-degree list, we wouldn't be able to turn the ship, not to mention the sinking would probably accelerate the sinking, but, it's possibly worth a shot. Let me ask the engine repair crew about this. Are you out of your fucking mind, Captain? 
I understand it's a desperate situation, but these engines were under a lot of stress when put the ship at 50 knots, but we can't risk blowing another engine, otherwise we may actually have an explosion. Meanwhile, yes, is this the Sudali? It leak it requests so Mr. Firepo we rest a ship chering the Nuki seems to not be sinking. Ak, sending an attack helicopter to your location. Geez, this place is confusing. But I believe if we just stick to the staircase we'll make it to the boat deck. You better be right otherwise I'm throwing you overboard. H.A. Told you we would make it, but up, uh, why aren't the boats being launched? Um, I've been informed that nearly 50% of the lifeboats on this side of the ship are unusable due to the list. This isn't cash money at all. Oh great. I'm guessing the passengers found out about the dire situation, huh? With a portion of the lifeboats being useless. I can't possibly see this getting worse. What in the hell was that? Wait, that sounds like fucking water. Oh man. What the fuck just happened? Holy shit, what the fuck? The ship is now on fire. Eli get up, we need to leave now. Huh what? What's going on? Holy feces, what happened? I don't know, but we need to bail now. Okay. The engine seems to be in working order now. Hopefully now we can beach the ship. All right, Captain, we can beach now. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, is that water? Eli, was this really the best idea? Well, don't blame me. It's not my fault the sinking seems to have accelerated. This was the top deck that wasn't affected by the fire. Ugh, fine. But do you even know where you're taking us? Oh, we're going to the back of the ship. Hopefully we'll be able to safely board a lifeboat that may be there. Well we've made it. Now it's time to jump. Oh feces, this might hurt. Wait, where's John? A-H-H-H-H-H-H. Where'd that desk come from? Ouch, I think I lost my left knee again. That's the least of our worries. We need to find the lifeboat quickly. Look. There's an empty one. Oh, thank feces. Breaking new out of London and the second vintage ship sunk near the British Isles, over 2,000 people are confirmed dead was is considered the worst maritime disaster since the Titanic in 1912. <laughs>